As at June 2021, over 200,000 women have received family planning services from the trained CPs and PPMVs. Of this number, over 94,000 are new users of family planning services. Over 600,000 condoms have been dispensed, over 100,000 oral pills have been provided, over 6,000 implant insertions and over 28,000 injectable contraceptives provided through the trained community pharmacists and PPMVs in the two states. Over 340,000 women have been reached with family planning information by the community mobilizers in the two states within the same period. The project is looking at the next phase of the intervention to scale up in additional states in two phases. Phase 1, adding three states where key lessons will be extended, Kanu, Nasarawa and Gombe by December 2021. Phase 2, Add in five additional states, Borno, Bochi, Sokoto, Niger, and Enugu by December 2022. Inclusive in each scale-up is the layering of provision of PHC services to allow PPMVs provide the minimum package of care for pneumonia, diarrhea, malaria, nutrition, and TB according to the National Treatment Guidelines. Over 60% of Nigerians in the lower wealth quintile access primary health services from PPMVs. Many PPMVs have an informal credit register where they record clients who are not able to pay for their care at the point of service. One of the tenets of universal health coverage is the affordability of health care. Health insurance is one financing mechanism that helps reduce out-of-pocket expenditure and makes healthcare affordable. To take continued steps towards universal health coverage, it is important that state governments consider including PPMVs to provide the minimum package of healthcare services at the community level under the state insurance scheme. This would help to increase the credibility of the trained PPMVs. This would also give access to over 60% of Nigerians to basic health services that are of good quality without them having to pay at the point of care, moving Nigeria one step closer to achieving universal health coverage.